Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, I'm going to show you how to manually enable the new hidden start menu layout or the new start menu in Windows 11 on the dev and the beta channels. A new start menu layout which combines the pinned recommended section and also the all app section into one singular menu. And as I've said, this is a hidden feature, a hidden testing part of Windows 11 in the dev and the beta channels in the latest builds, which I'm going to show you first of all how to enable manually if you want to test it out. And then we will talk about it and what is new. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, we're going to set up Vive Tool, which is a small tool that can help us enable different hidden features that Microsoft is testing behind the scenes. And then we're going to have Vive Tool in the article below. Just make sure to get the latest version for Intel AMD or other versions if you have other platforms. And after you get it, just open it up using the File Explorer. Then click on Extract All, click on Browse, and make sure you extract it into a dedicated folder. For example, in local list C, I have here folder created hidden features. I'm just going to select this folder and then I'm also going to copy this location because we're going to need it whenever we will run the commands. So I'm going to click on extract. Of course, in my case, I'm going to have to replace the files because I already extracted it there and then we are good to go. This is how easy you set a Vive tool on your computer. Now, what we need to do is to open up the search box, type in here CMD, click on run as administrator, on user account control, click on yes. And inside CMD, first of all, type in CD and then paste the location where you extracted Vive tool. And now we are free to run a few commands that will enable the new start menu. First of all, a huge shout out to Phantom of Earth on Twitter or X.com for providing information on this new hidden start menu layout, providing IDs and all that. So make sure to follow him. You're going to have his link in the pinned comment below. First of all, we're going to run a command which is vive tool slash enable slash ID 4922-1331 and then comma and another ID 4720-5210 and then press enter. These are the IDs that will enable the new all app section with the different views, the alphabetical, the category view and so on. And in addition to this, we're also going to run this command Vive tool slash enable slash ad 48433719 because if this doesn't work by itself, this should fix it. So these are basically the IDs that should make the all apps section work. Then we are running the ID that will enable the new start menu layout, which is Vive tool slash enable slash ad 49402389. Of course, after each command, make sure you get the message successfully set feature configuration. And as a bonus, we can also enable a new layout that Microsoft is testing related to the new phone sidebar that allows you to see different information about your your phone, which is a toggle that you can enable or disable directly from the start menu. Just run vive tool slash enable slash ad 55495322. Press enter. Again, successfully set feature configuration. Also, as a disclaimer, this last commanded ID, this new feature that will enable that toggle for the start menu phone sidebar, will likely not work on any computer because this is also part of a rollout that Microsoft does. But if you already have the phone sidebar in the start menu, there are good chances that you'll have it. The new start menu layout is 100% to be enabled after these commands. Now, after everything is run, of course, all the commands will be in the article below. You can just copy and paste them from there if you want. You can exit out from the CMD and then make sure you restart your computer for the changes to take effect. Now, after the restart, we will be able to see the new start menu layout. As I've said, it combines the pinned app section, the recommended section, and the all app section, which can be switched on to different views, name list, name grid, and also the category view, which is my personal favorite. Now, another good thing about this new start menu is that it can disable the recommended section. That is great news. Just right click on the start menu, go to start settings and then disable show recently added apps and then show recommended files and start recent files in file explorer and items in jump list. Unfortunately, also recent files in file explorer will be disabled, but I don't think that's a problem because we will have the recommended section disabled from the start menu. Now related to the pinned app section, we're going to see that it is limited to two rows right now, but you can click on show all to show all the apps. If you right click on the start menu and then go to start settings, you're going to have an option to show all pins by default. If you enable this, once you open the start menu, all the apps will be shown directly when you open the start menu. So basically this toggle will be turned on by default. And of course, if you right click on the start menu and go to start settings, then scroll down to show mobile device and start and enable, and you have a phone connected to your Windows operating system, you may see this new toggle, which Phantom of Earth showcased on his Twitter. As I've said, this is part of a pretty weird rollout from Microsoft, so not everyone will see it. In this case, I don't have it on this machine. But I think this is great 
speakers can quickly toggle on or off that sidebar. If you need to see information about your phone, you can simply just toggle it on. If you don't want it there, you don't want the start menu to be as big, you can just turn it off really easily by a mouse click. In my opinion, this new start menu layout is better. It allows you to see pinned apps. And if you want, you can see all the apps just by scrolling, or you can use the name grid, which will show all the apps again alphabetically, but with larger icons and labels. As I've said, design wise, my personal favorite is the category view because it shows you different categories of apps. You can click on them to expand them and so on. And different categories have multiple categories inside them. So overall, I think this new start menu layout, this new start menu design is pretty much what we've waited for related to the start menu. If you ask me, of course, I'm looking forward to seeing your opinion in the comments below. Make sure to check out the article below for Vive tool and the commands that I've used in this video. And again, don't forget that Phantom of Earth's Twitter or X account is in the pinned comment below. So make sure to follow him from there. So this was the video for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechPace channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechPace. Until next time, have a nice day.